Corporate Underdog here okay, tonight. Okay, sir, are you ready? Are you ready, sir? Let's go fight. Head out to your neighborhood 7-Eleven and pick up your UFC-branded Big Gulp for a chance to instantly win UFC merchandise, food and beverage prizes, or even a new Harley Davidson. Ray Borg has been with Jackson Wink MMA for almost two years now, and his striking coach, Brandon Gibson, believes we have the skill, the technique, and the athlete to beat Demetrius Johnson. We will find out in short order. DJ immediately targeting that inside leg kick many times already. He's already gotten four of them off to start the fight. Big inside leg kicks. Check that one. Neither man has ever been finished. 40 plus pro fights between them. Borg has got to do something to get Demetrius respect. He can't let DJ just time him and pot shot him like this. You gotta put some pressure on him. Johnson seamlessly switching stances here one minute in. Even as Borg has him fighting going backwards, DJ does a phenomenal job of just kind of picking you apart. You can tell right now they've worked on it. It's the inside leg kick. That's the key for tonight. But look at Ray Borg doing a big right uppercut. Big speed and big power from Borg. Good kick to the body by DJ. So leg, 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 then right to the body. And one high so far for Johnson. And again, look at this. And he gets his back. And Borg just sitting down here, holding on to the left arm of DJ. Trying to prevent that choke and looking for an opportunity to stand up. A beautiful spin there by Borg. Back to his feet by Ray Borg. Left hand from Borg looked like DJ. Again, that body, body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. Beautiful defense by Mighty Mouse. Borg down on a low ankle shot. In wrestling, you get to this position, you're great. But there's no wrestling to an MMA. So if DJ just spins out, he'll be able to get away from Ray Borg. All he needs to do is spin to his right, and he will have, have, get out from, from Ray Borg. Borg's still holding on to that leg, though. And that's a good sign for him. Mm -hmm. That he's been able to control him up until now. I think when you're fighting Mighty Mouse, you just got to be... Oh, there it is. Yeah, spin to the right. Evades and now he takes his back. I think when you're fighting DJ, you have to be a wild man, just like Tim Elliott. Yep. You gotta just let everything fly. I mean, and just hope to catch him in something because he's already having a, a, a really good performance very early in this fight. And like I said, Borg has to be able to respond to this when things start to go a little in the opposite direction as a guy that's in this position for the first time. Yeah, it's can he keep the pace? Can he keep the rhythm? Just over two minutes here to go in round one. Total strikes, nothing doing for Ray Borg thus far. 23 to zero, wow. And this is really the first time that Ray Borg has been in there with somebody that at least has been a better scrambler than he has been, right? Normally in transitions yeah. on the ground, nobody can touch him. Better scrambler, faster, and just has more answers. Ground and pound here. Nice pass. He just does everything the right way. And I mean, effortless because he doesn't try to use power and energy. He does everything with technique. Everything's technical. He's not trying to use strength to pass the legs. He let Ray Borg try to push off of his hips and he just took the momentum and let him move to the next position. And he just cracked him with mm -hmm. a nice elbow there. And it's all just so efficient. Six finishes. He's looking for a head and arm choke here. He's looking for a head and arm choke. He's going to try to trap the left arm of Borg. And Borg gets it back. Now he's going to an Americana. He's going to go back and forth to those two until one of them presents itself. But he's, yep, see, there he goes again. Now he's, he might switch it to a Kimura. But he's attacking the arm in several different ways. And as Borg defends, he goes to the other one. See, he's going yeah, to the head and arm choke again. Joe, over right. and over again. He's going to try to step left. over that right leg, or the left leg, excuse me. If he can step over that left leg, he's going to allow Borg to see if he can get the guillotine. See, Borg's going to try to get the guillotine, and he's going to step over it, and now go for the Bon Flu choke. Now, back, on that Kimura, back again, yep. back again to the Kimura. Uh, this could be it, folks. Borg trying to get that left leg in play to defend himself, but he's in a bad spot right now, real bad spot. This is seconds to go around, Joe. Well, he's better off now. Nice oh. little scramble, but look at that. Woo! Right on top. But no, Borg, Borg doing all right here. Butterfly guard. Right, right, 
Borg defended himself, and that's critical. He got into bad spots, and look at this. Borg attacking with a Kimura of his own on the left arm. Borg's just... Two, let's go, gentlemen. Fight. All right, round two here, Demetrius Johnson. Wearing the black and gold befitting a champion. Ray Borg is in blue. Six finishes in ten defenses to this point for Demetrius Johnson. Pressured here by Borg. Good job by Borg. Yes, Close smart the adjustments. Distance. Yep. Yeah. Showed him the showed him the jumping knee. Went right to a double leg. Just to close space and slow DJ down. He does not want him out in front of him moving. And like Joe said, pot shot and then picking him apart. Great adjustment by Ray Borg. Yeah, I think you were talking about this earlier, DC, that he's got to make this a fight, a mm -hmm. dog fight. And I, I think you're absolutely right. I, I don't think he get technique for technique with DJ. But if he can get it ugly and turn it into a brawl, he can have some success. Another thing that you were pointing out is that when the two of them are standing next to each other, Ray Borg is the bigger man. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why he's been having a hard time making that 125-pound limit. And looking for the guillotine here. Borg, Borg looking to connect his hands together here. And DJ's got to be careful here. Yep, so as it starts to get tight, DJ will attack his hands. There you go. You see, you start to become a yeah. threat. You attack the hands. Nice job by Borg. Changing the position. Nice level change. Level change. Level change. Level change. Borg gets the takedown. Look at this. Now he needs to secure this position. He needs to try to circle to his right to get DJ back off the side of the octagon. He's got to get him out of space. Because DJ's going to just use the fence to get back up every time. Nice He's short elbow again. there for there DJ is. as well. But look at this. Borg's behind. Oh! oh! Look at that. A lot of you watch DJ. You watch DJ stay so comfortable in these positions. Even in a Tim Elliott fight when he was caught deep in that submission, he never panicked. Even there, when the guy took his back, he shook his head at Matt Hume and said, okay. And then he dumped him off of his back. Beautiful. Sorry, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, got to be somewhat encouraged if you're Ray Borg, but discouraged also that you had DJ's back and were unable to maintain it. Well, he's having a little bit of success, which is better than most people. <laughs> you know, he's got something going on. Mighty Mouse keeps going for that head and arm choke, and he's in a much better position for it now. Borg's in real trouble. He's got to get that left arm out of play. Mighty Mouse is in half guard here. He's going to try to slide that left leg through and get to full mount. Ray Borg's trying to circle with him, trying to go counterclockwise with him, keep up. But as soon as DJ slides that left leg, oh, he's, through, oh, he's hammering him. Almost crucifix. Borg has to be careful with that left arm. DJ, one of the few guys that consistently watch seems to get this crucifix position. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll say watch armbar there and, and, and Kimura. Well, it's a little, I mean, it's a little early for him to dive on something and not have full control of the body. I'd imagine he's going to soften him up before he tries to do something like that. Borg's still a very explosive guy. Oh, nice knee to the body there. And DJ takes the left hook. He's got that, that left hook in for back control. Oh, nice knees to the body there by DJ. Beautiful knees. Yeah, he's been working the body to great effect all night. Pushing on the face of Ray Borg here. Back to the clinch we go. DJ with the takedown now. Into side control. Total strikes, significant strikes, 40 to 1 for Demetrius Johnson, 62 to 1 in terms of the total strikes landed. That is unbelievable, John. Through two rounds, Demetrius has outlanded him 62 to 1. But that's what you expect when you're watching a guy like this. I mean, you're watching a virtuoso. And for Ray Borg, I mean, he's had his moments in this fight, particularly in grappling. But, I mean, he's finding out what it's like to fight the best. Nice knee to the body there from DJ on the ground. Some shoulder strikes land for good measure. He just does everything. 
I mean, that's the thing about him. You don't know what's coming, where it's coming from. Borg looking for the up kick. Dimitri nowhere to be seen. Ten minutes. He goes to his best position. He gets a takedown and he just gets reversed. And you look at DJ and he has no... There's no signs that he's going to be slowing down at all over the course of this 25 minutes. So, uh... It does frustrate you. But well, we might be looking at the future in Ray Borg. I mean, we're talking yeah. about a very young guy here. He's 24 years old. That's correct, right? Yep. Born in 1993. Amazing when you're looking at his record and the fact that he's been fighting in the Octagon for three years. And now he's here in a world title fight against the best ever. And is not without success here. No. But DJ's he's just gonna, getting outclassed. DJ's going to go to the same position. He's going to beat him up a little bit when it's time to defend. He's just going to spin towards Ray Borg's back uh, to free his left leg. But let's see what kind of adjustments Ray makes because he's been in here before. Let's see if he does something different. And he tried. He tried. Yes, he did. DJ's looking for the choke here. Front headlock position down on him. Constantly on top of you, just doesn't, doesn't give you any chance. Doesn't make any mistakes. DJ has struck to the body 33 times in the fight, has landed all of them. There's another knee. What's really phenomenal about DJ is how little he gets hit. And that's why the career can really be extended, right? He's taking no damage uh, in, in the majority of these fights. So he can fight for as long as he wants, you know? So a guy like Ray Borg may be looking at Demetrius Johnson for another five, six years because he does not take much dam damage. Well, the UFC's back at Madison Square Garden November 4th. UFC middleweight champion Michael Bisping welcoming back George St. Pierre plus two more title fights. UFC 217 from New York, New York, November 4th. It is only on paper. Knees to the body from half guard. When do you see that? Those are hard shots. Finally, Borg lowers that elbow to prevent further damage. And then he drops an elbow on him. I mean, it's just a systematic dismantling of every defense you have. Slowly but surely, breaking your body down, just like you did with Wilson, and then eventually submitting. That's why you see such late finishes by Demetrius Johnson here lately, because he just breaks these guys down. So by, fourth and, by the fourth and fifth round, you're discouraged, you're upset, but you're still in there. And then he hits you with the he hits you with the finishing blow, or, or he finds a submission with a second against Horiguchi. It's just that that type of frustrating, uh, upsetting fight because you really can't get anything going. Yeah, it's just an overwhelming accumulation of beatings until finally you're a shell of who you were at the beginning of the first round, and then he gets you. Two minutes now to go in this third round of a possible five. Total strike picture, all Johnson. How about 97 and four? What's beautiful about it is how little damage he takes, and what a great example this is of how high-level MMA should look when it's played out perfectly. And you see Ray Borg here stuck again inside control, and DJ just continuing to work on those arms, pin them down, Ray Borg gets them back. He's got to use a lot of strength and energy to get him back. He's pinning it down again. Just constantly going for it, looking for a Kimura again, but he's, he's inside control, and Ray scrambles and gets mounted immediately. So early in the fight, Joe, he kept trying to go to the mount, and Borg was actually catching him, and half guard when he stepped over. This time he got all the way to his back, and now he's secured back position. Secured back position, and you see Ray just frustrated and exhausted. DJ's just a step ahead every single move. Less than a minute now to go in the round. I mean, pick your poison. Control time, almost 10 minutes already for Demetrius Johnson. You mentioned the striking defense coming in, 69%, well above the UFC average. And keep an eye on the arms of Ray Borg because DJ for sure watched Fabricio Verdun submit Walt Harris. He might go for that. There's a big scramble and on top again. See, and normally when Borg scrambles and quickly, he's able to realize success out against this guy. And look at these little details, though. Look at how Demetrius puts himself between Ray Borg and the fence so that Ray can't use the fence to get back to his feet. It's just these little details that you don't notice right away at times, but he does them every time. 
Oh, oh body nasty shot. Nasty body shots. Ray looking for the submission here, though. Ray looking for the neck. Hard to tell where he's at. As long he's as definitely in side not, control here. Yeah, he's yeah. Fourth round, that you have to go, be at a big camp to have success, right? right? DJ has taken that thought and just really disposed of it. In the build-up to the fight, DJ said round four was the round that he was going to finish his fight. So it may not happen because Ray Paul's still in there. Yeah, he, he's fighting. He wants to win. Woo! It's a chance he's set. It is that it is the round. Ray Paul is an animal. I mean, he's this nasty. kid is in it to win it. He's not trying to just no. lay down and let DJ run over him. He's trying his hardest. And the shape Ray Borg's in. Fourth round. Oh, yeah. Been getting beat up this whole time. Goes out there and takes him down right away. You got to think he might have benefited from that extended training camp, too. Didn't get too far off the weight. Takedowns. Look at that. Knee from the takedown attempt. And he's got back to that same exact position. DJ presses down the head. And Ray realizes he can't do anything with it. And now he winds up on the bottom and DJ's beating him up again. Yep. Borg trying to cover up here. One of those elbows got through and cut Ray Borg. One minute gone by here in round four. And for the guy that likes to wrestle and likes to grapple and likes to be in top position, this is a dream for Demetrius Johnson because we can do this all day. If you're in control and you're the guy not taking damage and you're the guy moving around on top of the opponent, making him carry your weight, you're fine. You can do this all day. It's when you start to deal with adversity. When you're the guy that's taking the damage, it's very difficult and you get tired. And I don't know if DJ runs hot or not, but he's barely sweating, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is phenomenal conditioning. If you see some of the workouts that he does, some of the incline treadmill work and strength and conditioning programs that he gets put through. Right. I mean, he's as conditioned as any athlete in the world. Well, Ray Borg took some chances on the feet at the beginning of this yeah. round, landed a left hand that was probably his most significant strike of the fight. But again, being controlled again, back to his feet, another shot to the body. Hurt him there. Hurt him there to the body. You start to see Ray Borg grimace a little bit now when these body shots are landing. There's another one. They're so accurate. Walk those legs out. Walk those legs out. Yep, there it is. Bang the legs up. Bang the legs up. He brings out of the cage. Johnson staying busy. Borg fires back, but Ray getting a breather here. Bork finally starting to show some signs of exhaustion. He just tried to attack Guillotine again. Demetrius ducks under it, takes him back, and then kicks him. I mean, there is a method to every movement for Demetrius Johnson. Standing on the ground in transition, he has outstruck Ray Borg 127 to 11 and count. John, stop making jokes. Joe's the comedian, 127 to 11. John, you're a funny guy, but 127 to 11, that's crazy. That's true. That's insane, right? That's truth, man, I'm telling you. Go open for Rogan, you know. We just make <laughs> yeah, jokes yeah, about yeah. how bad DJ beats up people. It's crazy. 128 strikes to 11 is insane. There was 12. Oh, <laughs> down, lands on his head. And that's, that's a high good. amplitude takedown from the clinch, right? Yeah. I mean, that's impressive. That sound was his head bouncing off the canvas. Yeah. That's no bueno. So, champ, if Ray Borg sees a fifth round here, do you just go balls to the wall? And, I mean, he's he's pressing here very hard. He stepped over and took a big chance to slide that knee across the belly. DJ's putting a, a tremendous amount of pressure on him, looking to get that finish. And you're seeing Ray wilt, and that's why he's doing this. He's feeling it, and he's really turning up the heat. He's feeling Ray crack, he's feeling less resistance, and he's ramping it up accordingly like he does in every fight. I think I think if you're Ray Borg, John, uh, you, you have to just, or anyone that's fighting Demetrius Johnson, unless it's a T.J. Dillashaw, a, a uh, Dominic Cruz, a, a Cody, Cody Garbrandt. Garbrandt. Yeah, I think you have to just go all out right away like Tim Elliott did. Right. That fight found success. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you just get broken down. As we're seeing here, we saw it in the Hayes fight. Uh, go it, it, go every fight, when he's having success, when he's at his best, they look very familiar. Control your pace, control and that's when you know DJ's fighting at his best. Oh, oh nice. Oh, 
You know, it's a shame that DJ didn't want to fight TJ when he had that opportunity because that's a real challenge. I mean, that's a real world champion fight. I know he wanted to break this record, and I know he was concerned that TJ had never made flyweight before. But he wanted to fight someone who's already established in the division. Right. Makes sense. He's going for an armbar here. He's stepping over, and he's controlling the arm. And there's Destiny Johnson, <laughs> wife of Demetrius Johnson. Anxious moments here as her husband closes in on a record that he really has sought for a long time. You also heard Matt Hume there talking about some specific submission strategy, Joe. They've really prioritized finishing fights. They right, certainly have, and really, I mean, really that was the knock on him, as you said, earlier in his career. But since the Horaguchi fight, the, uh, Joseph Benavidez, I mean, pretty much everybody. Moraga, he finishes everybody now. Can he finish Ray Borg? That's the question. No one has to do And Ray Borg, hats off to Ray Borg, because at the beginning of every round, when he's on his feet fighting, he really is letting everything fly and trying to find a way to still win this fight. 20 minutes in, down on the scorecards, he's still fighting with intensity, with intent to win, because as soon as DJ goes to attack him, he tries to choke him. This, this kid's not giving up on himself. He's very, very game. He's just outmatched. But as you said many times before, DC, he's getting the rub. And I bet we're going to see a better Ray Borg after this fight. I don't like when DJ draw. looks at me whenever uh, he's fighting. He's like looking at me and like smiling and making weird faces and he's intimidating me, Joe. I don't want to look at him. He's like, no, I can't watch the fight. I'm looking down at the table. He's a little too relaxed. Oh, he's just so aware. And but still doing his thing. Yeah, and just beating Ray Borg's senses here. On top of him, controlling the position, shots to the body here, another knee to the body, and looking to step over it. Look at this, Ray Borg though, grabbing hold of that leg. Let's see if he can complete it. Ray Borg still game, Just very game. Leg, Kick to the leg body. by DJ to come out. And now Borg, again, like I said, Borg, man, he's in there to win the fight. Absolutely, just not giving up at all. Look at him, swinging hard, and DJ takes him down once more. Steps over, got to step over completely. Three and a half minutes now to go. But Borg has been closing the distance, choosing to wrestle and grapple as opposed to trying to strike. Certainly hasn't had much success on the feet while they've been there. 136 to 13 now in terms of the total strikes for Demetrius Johnson. That's insane. I mean, that, that, that number is crazy. Right? Like, we've got to be approaching some sort of record for at least amount of strikes. Look at this. Full mount. Over five rounds. And he's got the neck. Ray Borg, is, he's, he's straining to get up instead of using technique. Yep. And that's how you get caught. When you just explode and use all your muscles and your strength to try to get up. Look at that scramble, though. you got to love this kid. you got to love Ray Borg. Yep. You really do. I mean, because outclassed, outmatched, and not a ounce of give up in him. No quit in him. And certainly from a conditioning standpoint, he's been rendered defensive for most of this fight, but he put himself in position yes. to go five hard with DJ. Yeah, I mean, he's taken ruthless shots to the body. He's been beaten up. He's taken over a hundred shots in this fight, and yet he's still in tremendous shape here in the fifth and final round against the best ever. And if DJ can't get him out of there, you wonder what it's going to take to finish a guy like Ray Borg. Just over two minutes now to go. Yeah, in, in many ways, if he can get through this next two minutes, it'll be a moral victory for him. How many guys would just lay there? Oh, whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Right into an arm bar. Phenomenal! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my God! <laughs> no! Oh, my God! Look at Ray Borg! Ray Borg, Ray Borg, Ray Borg is a savage! Unbelievable! Borg refusing to oh, there it is! Oh, Demetrius Johnson! Who's back? We are all witnesses tonight as Demetrius Johnson enters rarefied air, 11 consecutive title defenses. And getting better. He's better than he's ever been. This is going on top 10 plays of the day. This was going to sports center. Did you see that? Picked him up, dumped him, jumped right to an arm bar. Another finish for Demetrius Johnson. And there's Phenomenal. your 2017 SB winner for best fighter, <laughs> Demetrius Johnson. Seven finishes in 11 defenses. Let's get to the fight replay brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's and for you. You got to think, too, when we're looking at the numbers, how far ahead he was in this fight. And yet still, he does this. Look, he throws him through the air, catches the arm while he's on his way down. 
and traps the armbar. At this point, you're just messing around. At this point, you're just showing <laughs> off. Hey, Joe, at this point, you're just showing off. It looked like he was going to suplex him, right? It looked like he was going to suplex him, slammed him back to the mat with a mat return right into an armbar. And look at Ray Borg. He yeah. doesn't want to quit. He doesn't He's just stuck. Quit. Ray Borg's an animal. I mean, <laughs> all, all praise to Ray Borg because really, but look oh, at that. I mean, in the air, off. transitions to an armbar. Who does that? Show off.